Welcome back, everyone, to another episode of Mega Build Survival with me, the Maximus JK, and I am crazy excited for this episode. Today is the episode where we finally get to start the Chateau Mega Build. Now, I've been planning this build for a long time, and I'm super, super excited to show you guys. This build is absolutely massive. It's over 75,000 blocks, and I think it'll be really, really quite a sight to behold. The first thing we need to do is find a location for the Chateau. On stream the other day, I found a possible location that we thought would be the best for the Chateau. So I'll see you there. This is option one for the Chateau, and it is kind of a mountainous biome. It's got these mountains in the back, but unfortunately, I'm not sure if it works just because the mountains kind of dwarf in comparison to this Chateau. I'm using Lightmatica here, which is a program that allows me to see schematics and it will be vital to help me build. I can build this layer by layer and build up the entire chateau. But before we decide where to put the chateau, I found three skulls in last episode and I think it's time to hunt the wither. I think I got everything we need. The only thing I wanna do is enchant a bow. I crafted three bows here and since I have so many levels, I wanna craft three separate bows and combine them. Kind of weird, uh, but that's an okay bow. Power five, un infinity, and unbreaking. I think that should be more than enough to fight the wither. I got some buckets of milk. I wanna grab some arrows, and we'll head down to the mines to fight the wither. I think building this chateau with a beacon will be really, really helpful, especially if there's terraforming or land that needs to be cleared out. Heading down to the mines right now to fight the wither. It shouldn't be too, too bad of a fight, especially if you're underground. So I'm just going to take some area here. Now, I could have brewed some potions for this, but I'm not too, too concerned. And I got some buckets of milk in case things get hairy. But let's mine this out a little bit more. Now, I think it's time to fight this wither. Uh, grab the bow, got the milk, got my food. All right. Hopefully this is a pretty easy fight. Let's get some bow shots in here. Hit one. Uh, where'd he go? Oh, uh, there he is. Hit two. And hit three. Let's just keep going. I maybe should have built a bigger tunnel for this. It doesn't look like I have a ton of space. But I can just back up here into the strip mine. It shouldn't be too, too bad. He's taking some serious damage now. One more hit with the bow. Oh, now it's sword time. Oh. I'm taking some damage here, but the Wither's got a few more hits. And let's go. Drink the milk. Grab some food. Boom. Easy fight. And we got another star. Awesome. Now, get the beacon up, move all the items, and start construction. Let the time lapse commence. Right, guys we are about one week of progress into this build and it is massive as you can see we got the villager breeder done and all the other technology to get these villagers into their separate water streams this is kind of the major technical side of this build but i'm happy that it's done the only problem is in the blueprint it kind of got messed up where some of these windows don't look correct like this window is missing the arch up top whereas this is what a correct window should look like with with these full arches so i'm gonna have to really look at this blueprint and maybe move it around uh like right here this layer accidentally got copied there should only be one trap door there so we're gonna have to redo this blueprint and figure out the best way to do it but i'm really really happy with this progress so far and i'm excited to keep this build going so back to the time lapse It has been crazy so far. A lot of progress has been made on this chateau and already the first floor is fully complete and we started working on the second floor. Now on the second floor, there has been these crop farms that have been designed where it's gonna be these classic villager designs. I went to the village and actually got two villagers here. They're working away and they started breathing. So 
We got some villagers in here who are gonna be our farmers to operate these crop farms. It's looking really, really nice. We have a reed farm as a part of the chateau on floor two and a berry farm. So we will eventually have to get a fox in here as well. One thing I didn't do in the blueprints is hook up these crop farms to water streams. So I have these kind of janky ice roads set up, but they really, really need to be set up for full on crop storage. So that's something I'm gonna work on here. So I'm gonna get the villagers set up, convert them into farmers and try to lock them in place in some of these crop farms. Um, hopefully we can start producing some stuff like carrots, potatoes, and wheat. All right, it's a few weeks later and we finally have all the villager crop farms in. So we have all the wheat farms. There's four layers per villager farm. I hooked up all the crop water streams as well. The sugarcane farm is working as expected and we have this carrot farm here and the potato farm right over here. I was actually working on a melon and pumpkin farm using a very simple observer design right here and I just finished the melon farm. The stems have to grow up but I hooked up the water stream to the main storage which will go all the way up towards the farmer villagers. The final thing that we want to do on floor two is this pumpkin farm here which is going to be using the same exact design as I was using over there. Now the farm hasn't been running for too too long. If I go to the chest just in the time that it takes to make all these crop farms it is already full. It's going to be pumping out out materials all day long. Once this layer is done, then I'm gonna power through the entire layer three, which is only gonna be decoration. Eventually, I'm gonna to wanna to put a stairway here and have easy access to access all the floors, but I'm not really sure how the interiors are gonna go, especially when I start putting in the floors and certain rooms and stuff. I'm not gonna be doing decoration in this episode just because this episode has taken multiple months to make, so I wanna make sure that I can get it out to you guys as soon as the chateau is done. I wanna finish the pumpkin farm and then build up layer three, and we can get onto the villager cells in level four. Let's go! This one minute time lapse you see was taken over 12 hours in a single session. This was the longest grind session of the entire Chateau Mega Build. Every layer you see in this build takes somewhere between 35 minutes and an hour and 15 to complete, depending on the complexities of each layer. And as this build is over 200 layers tall, I can say that this build has taken over 200 hours to build up. This doesn't even include the amount of time collecting materials and designing this build in creative. The third floor was the easiest floor to build in the entire Mega Build. In the future, I hope to put inside decorations, but for now, it's just empty. In the future, I would love to fully decorate the chateau with armories, a throne room, some bedrooms, and some real decoration that makes the place feel lived in. Unfortunately, I kind of ran out of time for this build because I wanted to finish this build in 2021. Right now, it feels a little cold and mechanical with all the loose crop farms, item water streams, and loose redstone lines that fill the lower floors. I hope to come back to this project one day. The next task was to finish the roof and all the turrets. This chateau contains cells for 24 librarian villagers, eight masons, 11 farmers, five clerics, and every other villager inside the game. There are 11 unique cell blocks, as well as 12 villager crop farms within the chateau. Additionally, there is a sugarcane farm, a berry farm, a melon and pumpkin farm, a villager breeder, and a custom redstone selector panel to put each villager into their unique cell. Finally, each cell has a zombie that can convert the villagers into villager zombies for lower trade prices. The way that I created this mega build was building it entirely in creative, then porting it over in Lightmatica to build in survival. I can say with certainty that I will never do this method again, as the creative aspects of this build were decided long time ago, and I felt like it was just a grind to get this project done. Now, since this is a villager trading hall, I felt like having all the villager farms and all those things pre-planned was very helpful and trying to fit all those things into a build that I'm making up on the spot would have been very difficult. For my next mega builds, I can plan some things in creative, but I wanna actively be building in a creative way and constantly innovating on the design. I knew the moment that this chateau started what it would look like in the end, but for my next mega builds, I wanna be surprised when I place that last block. Overall, I am unbelievably happy with how this build turned out, and I think it's going to be an absolute amazing staple in this world. As the first mega build in this world, it's going to be a hub of all my villager trading, which will get me to the next level and get me enough resources to build the mega builds that I plan on getting in the future. So with that, may I present to you...
Hold on. There's one thing I'm forgetting. There's a block missing. When I was designing this build in creative, I thought it would be funny if I put a netherite block inside the base of this build where no one could see it. I promised that I would include the netherite block inside the chateau and I would place the final block on stream. So let's head to the nether and finish this build. As I spent my final two and a half hours in the nether mining for netherite, I decided to reflect with the Twitch chat about all the ups and downs of making this mega build. I talked about some of the complexities of building in a palette that was designed in creative mode. For example, the vines consist of six unique individual block types, the orange walls, 13, and the roof, but that does not include all the trap doors, signs, fences, fence gates, walls, candles, vines, stairs, slabs, logs, buttons, etc. that make up this build's complicated design. Having these very complicated color palettes that I used in this build is extremely difficult to move blocks around with the limited inventory size that we currently have in the game. Keep in mind that I built this entire thing before venturing to the end, so I didn't have an elytra or a shulker box while building this building, which I think was a massive mistake. I wanted to see if I could do it, and I could happily say I did it, and it sucked. Here it is, boys. Started in September, finished in December. The Chateau Mega build will now be complete as I lay the final block. Saved this specifically for this netherite block. And I am super excited to finally complete this whole thing. Look at it. Like, look how big this full project is. I am so proud of how this thing looks. Look how cool it is. Oh, I'm so happy it's done. I'm so happy it's done. Woo! With that, I think it's time. Boom! Boom! Look at that. Ugh! I'm so happy it's done. I'm so happy it's done. So, that's kind of about it for this mega build. I'm really, really excited to get this series going again and so excited for you guys to see what happens next on my channel and in this build in the future. This build is officially named Clayon de Cleve, which means the copper crayon. Sorry, French people, for butchering that pronunciation. I feel like it really fits the copper aesthetic that I use a lot in this chateau, and the turrets kind of look like crayons. I'm so excited for all the support and love I've been getting over the last few weeks. My Twitch channel has hit over 200 followers, and my YouTube channel has grown to over 100 subscribers. I really appreciate the support that everyone's been giving to me over the past few months, and I really, really am excited to continue this world and I'm more pumped than ever. Next episode, we're gonna head to the end, get some elytras, and start thinking about the next mega build that we wanna do in this world. So, thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.